Hi, my loves, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rose 11 and I'm back with the truth. And we are just going to um, read the energy that I pulled earlier. Um, this is from a TikTok as well. So, um, energy is energy. So, I just wanted to go over this with you guys too because I am also feeling this is your energy as well. So, again, thank you to everyone that is um, been guiding my videos. I appreciate the likes, comments, shares, and follows. So, thank you so much. Um, so, I did uh, sage and cleanse this, but we'll just light this inside again to cleanse this energy. Remove any negativity, evil, from this reading at this time. Only allow love and light to enter. Only positive energy, loving energy in this reading. Amen. Okay, so what I have pulled is somebody may be pregnant um, or is about to get pregnant or maybe just had a baby. Uh, this doesn't always have to be physical. This could also be spiritual too. Somebody could be giving, um, they could be giving um, birth to their, their um, dreams, their projects their reality um so again but i do feel like there is a physical pregnancy that somebody may be learning about um if not recently just had a baby um within the last three to six months so there is pregnancy um which most likely an empress as well so and then but then there's not good at money is all money or not all money is good money so with that card what i made that is when you make money fast it can be burned fast so like if you are doing illegal activity, making money the legal way, um, sp like spamming accounts, um, getting money that way, street money, um, any kind of illegal activity that's making it fast and not um, working hard for it, um, it's not, there's not all money's good money. So if you learn that you make it fast, it's most likely not good money. So when you work hard and you love what you're doing, or even if you don't love what you're doing, but you're working hard and you're going to a nine to five job or you're um, putting time and energy into a job, then you will get money, but it's a little bit harder to get. So, and then it lasts longer. So again, remember not money is all good money. You could also be just receiving money from somebody that's not good, you know? So again, energy is energy. Take what resonates for you. 11 is on the right path. So if you're seeing 11 a lot, it means you're on the right path. Um, or going in the right direction it also could be a twin flame number because it's 11 is uh also a master number so you could be a master healer there may be high speed chase or somebody went through a high speed chase um again tarot readings are past present future so um you, we can try to pull past cards and pre present and future but it kind of goes where it wants to go at that moment in time so a high speed chase could be from a past energy or it could be present or in the future but Spirit is saying, be your true self. Someone needs to be their true self. Don't be someone uh, uh, fake. Be, be authentic. Um, you will be, people will be drawn to you when you are your true self. When you are being fake and phony and not in your higher um, higher self and higher vibration, then you are, people are not drawn to you. And you may see like that. You may not be um, getting as many followers or people coming in because you're being fake. Or it could just last for a short period of time. So again, be true self. You have actually people that will come in and will be in your life, you know, for a lifetime when you be your true self. People will want to keep coming back to you. That's the same. It goes for being your true self. If you're an author, or you're writing a book, or if you're a singer and you're actually your true self and not being someone fake, then people will be drawn to you and they'll want to listen to your music or they'll want to read your books and stuff like that. So ancestors are sharing your wis their wisdom with you, not just their wisdom, they're sharing their guidance or their, their knowledge with you. And they also are showing you, um, you may be seeing having visions or seeing things um, that the ancestors are showing you that did not work for them that will work better for you or what did, what will work for you may not work for others. So again, ancestors sh are sharing the wisdom and knowledge with you. You may be, um, may be blocked, uh, blocked blackmailed um or somebody is blackmailed and somebody what i'm feeling with this blackmail card is somebody's actually ready to um come forward about this blackmail and speak on it and so they don't have to have it um be blackmailed anymore and feel um shut down and uh what is the word feel like that it's going to be held over their head so yes it sucks being blackmailed i was blackmailed at one time but once i um went to the law and told him what was happening and I showed him I actually had a relief I felt uh, just a weight um was gone the weight was gone like it was lifted it was no more there after I went to the law and showed the law um these um get gaslighting messages uh get catfishing messages um harassment or uh, mess like I was being harassed 
um, stocks and all that stuff. And when I showed him on that, because there was some stuff that could incriminate me too, um, and not like legally where I could go to jail, but incriminate me to where I didn't want my family or friends or somebody to know about. And I just said, screw it. I don't care anymore. I, this was a year ago. Um, I'm just like, nope, I'm not gonna let this hold over, held over my head anymore. So I let go of it, but somebody else now is about to um, not let somebody blackmail them anymore. They're ready to let it go and um, not have it over their head anymore. Um, and also I'm feeling blackmail. There's a lot of um, elite people that get um, blackmailed. The Hollywood gets blackmailed. Um, a lot of um, famous people get blackmailed as well. And there is a snake around you. So there is a snake. Snake can be somebody that's deceitful and stuff. But then we also have credit fraud. So somebody's going to be getting charged for credit fraud. That's what I feel. I feel that somebody will be getting charged for credit fraud. Um, your chakras are unbalanced. So your chakras are unbalanced. Somebody needs to unbalance their chakras. They need to be... Um, chakras, there's seven main chakras. And it goes from your root to your crown. And so you might want to Google chakras because that's a whole another... If I start talking about chakras, that could just go into 10, 15, 20 minutes. So, um, but somebody has ch chakras are unbalanced. Best way to um, unbalance them is to wear the colors of the chakras, to eat the fruits and vegetables of the chakras. So you may want to go look at that. And then we have a court case. So somebody may have a court case on this credit fraud or because this money's not good or this blackmail as well or this high-speed chase. So somebody may be having a court case over the high-speed chase. You treated somebody like an option. Um, you may have felt like you someone treated you like an option or somebody treated you and the person walked away. So whoever felt like they were treated like an option, they walked away from a certain person. Your higher self is guiding you. Your higher self is showing you who is true to you and who is not. Your higher self is um, guiding you in the right direction of what your purpose, your destiny is and who not to have in your life. So, um, and also guiding you to ascend. Your higher self is guiding you to ascend. Um, there is a karmic that's trying to do sex magic binding spells to block um, your ascension process so and to block your um, love to come in or your business or success there is some blockages or some magic being done um, the karmic is continuing to do that I don't know when the karmic is going to stop doing it I wish karmic would stop because then people can just it, their life can be a little bit easier but when our life is so easy then things just come up so again let's think positive and let's hope this does stop and this this karmic is actually just had enough of it and is starting to listen to God and starting to be obedient and saying no more it's enough so and making sure that you protect yourself from the sex magic binding spells you know lighting candles um, praying just having protection crystals around too that can also help so making sure you're protecting yourself from this sex magic binding spells it's because the karmic is intimidated by your success they're intimidated by your success not just your success they're intimidated by how, how high vibes you are and high frequency you are and they're intimidated by how you're ascending to another um dimension and stuff like that you're ascending to 5d and possibly even higher so that's why they are trying to block you they don't want you to go above them or um be better than them but the thing is we are not better than anybody we're better than ourselves so i'm not better than you and you're not better than me I can just only be the better version of myself. So, yeah. Let's pull a little bit of tarot on here. What else, Spirit? What else? What else, Spirit? What else? What else might be just supposed to need to know? Thank you, Spirit. The moon, deception, secrets, lies um, that are behind, like hidden by the veil and stuff. But they're, it's coming out. Secrets are coming out. But there is somebody that may be having anxiety. And it's, the karmic most likely is having anxiety about this because all the confusion they cause you. Again, pay attention to your dreams too. Your dreams are, um, your dreams are giving you downloads. They're giving you messages. Um... Two of Pentacles. So you may be able to multitask because that's why you may that's why you may be able to multitask with what you're doing and stuff. Um, you are using your resources and you are also prioritizing. Um, with your chakras being unbalanced, you may sometimes there's somebody that doesn't have their uh, chakras balance unba or balance. Which I feel like is a karmic. I feel like the divine feminine or masculine. Um, your um your chakras are balanced. And see, someone is trying to um, block my throat chakra because I'm, like, I'm stuttering and stuff. But I'm not going to let it get to me. So, yeah, um, balance. 
again, two of pentacles is a balance. And then we have a chariot, which is drive, success, victory. You are having that. You're having movement. Take the lessons that you learned so you can help others as well. But you're the chariot. You're moving. You're going to have victory. And that's why this karmic is trying to stop that. But it's not. They're only delaying it for a little bit. But it's going to happen. You are having your victory. It's coming. And then the magician. Because you... You are a manifestation manifester. You can manifest whatever you want. You have a lot of talent. You have um, awareness and power within you. And you have the will, too. So, a magician doesn't always have to be a negative. But when you're, um, there is a karmic that is in a lower vibration, which is a trick, trick, uh, trickery magician. So, they are trying to trick the divine feminine or masculine. Thank you, Spirit. So, Knight of Pentacles. And they did come out reverse. So, we have Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Wands. So, yeah. The Karmic is... There's a Karmic that's not having um, drive right now. Um, unpredictable. They're unpredictable. And they don't like authority. They're in risk of feeling a fear as well. But if we want to take it um, up, if we want to take it the normal way, which is um, you are the divine feminine and masculine. You have drill. You have passion again, like it says. And then you are um, having you're completing your projects at this time. You have projects that you're completing, and that's the same thing as Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Wands as well. Um, increase. You have strength, patience. So you're being very patient with this. Even when uh, the karmic is throwing stuff at you, you're being patient about it. You're letting it like you're letting it go. You're just like, whatever. If they're doing this again, I'm just not, I'm not gonna feed into it. When we feed into the karmic, then the energy, when we feed into it, then they, they can um feed off of us. So you're just kinda like, whatever, moving on with it. Moving forward. Have patience. What else, Spirit? What else? Page of Cups. Somebody's emotional over a situation. And it could be the karmic. Emotional over the divine feminine. Or masculine. Yeah, they could be emotional over this court case. The credit fraud because they're being charged with something. And this karmic doesn't know everything. We None of us know everything. We learn things every day. It's too many. But when you're on the page of cups, sometimes you feel like you know everything, but you don't. We don't know everything. Earth is a school. We learn. The Empress. So you are the Empress, which I did say there's pregnant baby. There's um, abundance, fertility, creativity, um, beauty, happiness, motherhood. So yes, somebody is um, giving birth to their um, creativity, cre creative ideas. They're giving birth to a physical baby. Um, they could be a teacher. So again... You are an empress. There's an empress. And that's why the karmic is um, jealous by your success. And envy of your success to come up. Any more spirit? Any more? Thank you. Ten of swords, which went like this. There was backstabbing. Because it says backstabbing. And it was like this. So like... I'm taking it as, like, somebody did backstab you. Somebody was trying to, let um, try to come in there. You have a lot of burdens. There's somebody that has a lot of burdens and exhaustion. And it's because somebody tried to backstab you. But you're moving forward. There's problems. There's truth. The truth coming out. But somebody was worried about the truth coming out. And like I said, we have the blackmail. Somebody was so worried about the truth coming out and stuff. But now this person that's, um, being blackmailed is over it. They're like, they want to just let it go. They want to move forward. What else, Spirit? What else? What else? Okay, that's too many. What else, Spirit? You don't want more than three of these cards, or it just gets confusing. 
killer just passed into the area. So the karmic killer could be passing into the area, could be driving by your house, stalking you, leaking you, but they passed through the area. Um, this crime may be solved by DNA testing or other scientific methods. So this credit court case, this credit um, fraud, this blackmail, um, any of this stuff, this binding spells, this could be um, with DNA. If the local law enforcement or the, whoever's coming in, um, the government, the whatever they want to come in, they can get DNA testing. They can um, the crime would be solved by DNA, blood sample, mouth swab, jealousy, and, and an affair or love related crime. So it's a jealousy, love affair, um, love affair or love related. So this like again, this karmic can be jealous of you, and that's why they committed the crime. That's why they are the one that's driving by your house. There's one that's um, blackmailing you. Um, maybe even stole your identity. You know, cre credit fraud. Maybe took credit cards out of your name and stuff. Um, or is not just credit fraud. It could be also this. This karmic could be um, using your picture, your name on fake accounts as well to get people's money and stuff. So if they, the cops went in and um, looked at that, they can get DNA testing. That one's a little bit hard with DNA testing, like, but um, they could get evidence off technology. There's so much ways now to get um, evidence. Let's, see, let's get a clue. Thank you, Sparrow. Cool, cooler mustard. He's a hero to the outside world, but someone who knows about his dark side might be blackmailing him. So again, somebody being blackmailed. Um, it could be somebody with gray hair, short hair, mustache, um, greenish, brownish eyes. It could be a female as well, too, so don't take it as a male. It could be somebody that's in the law, um, somebody that is military. Thank you, Spirit. Or just someone is a, that's a leader that's being blackmailed, you know, authoritative, a leader. There's a study, so something's um, happening in the study, or somebody needs to study more. Um, or the evidence, like, there's pictures and evidence in the study. Candlestick, so candlestick, what I take is, um, candlestick magic, so somebody's doing magic with candlestick. And then, we have double confirmation study. There's pictures on a study, and then there's, um, evidence, or, looking. Mr. Green, so his last name could be Green, first color, name Green, favorite color Green. Again, favorite color could be yellow, as well. Um, has green eyes, brown, short hair, brown hair. So... Well, spirit, what else? So, Mr. Green could be on um, blackmailing Colonel Mustard. Someone is using a rope. There's a rope involved. Any more? We have two Miss Scarlet. So, um, there's fingerprints on Miss Scarlet, and then there's a picture on Miss Scarlet. Scarlet has blonde hair, blue eyes, long hair, curly hair. But again, this could be a male figure too. What else, Spirit? What else? Thank you, Spirit. Somebody's imprisonment or they're going to be in prison. They're going to go to jail. 29 breaks down 11, which would be the right path for that person. That white right person needs to be locked up or may already be locked up. Again, these energies are past, present, and future. And these cards want to come out. They're stuck in there. So there's a revolver, a gun involved, and a candlestick, which is fingerprints on a revolver and a candlestick. That was in with this deck. Official person is going to um, come in. The official person may be having evidence, which is 22 again. So the official person, the local law enforcement, may have evidence on these people. Any more spirit? Any more? Somebody will be going to jail, fiscal jail. They. What I'm hearing in spirit right now is... Somebody has already been in fisc or um, spiritual jail and um, spiritual court for so long, and they continue to do the things over and over, and they're not being obedient. They are not listening to God. They are not listening to their higher self. They're not listening to the higher power, the universe. They are continuing to go against what is being told to them, and so they are, with being spiritual court, they are actually going to be going into physical court, um, physical jail, physical imprisonment. It won't just be up in their head anymore. It won't be spiritual anymore. It's going to be physical. Because it continues to happen. It's continued to happen over... This is an ongoing thing. We've been pulling this energy for a while. This has been happening for... This has been happening at least three to five years. 
maybe even longer. And this person, this, this karmic is not wanting to listen, is not wanting to be being, is not wanting to listen to the higher self, the higher and or higher power. So it's not going to be no more spiritual imprisonment. It's going to be physical imprisonment, if not already. It could be somebody that's pregnant, just had a baby. It could be a pregnant card. It could be somebody that just had a baby as well. Or is going to have a baby. But this official person is going to come in and arrest them. They will be arrested. Any more spirit? Thank you. They would be in poverty. Or somebody that was in poverty. Or they're causing poverty for somebody. They're causing somebody, you know, to not have their stuff. There's a rat. There's a black cat. There's a rat somewhere. Someone's a rat. There's a thief. It's going to be this thief. This person that's credits on from that's going to go to jail. That card fell on my lap. Jail prison. Right there. That fell on my lap, which I was getting ready to shuffle. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to do names on this one. I don't know if you guys like names or if you don't, but I'm not, I I'm, don't know if I'm going to do names for a while, so I need to know if you guys want the names or not, because I've gotten told that some, somebody told me they don't like the names. So I need to know if you guys like names on these messages or not. If it helps with clarity, if it's helping you. What else, Spirit? What else? Something happened on spring break, or will happen on well spring break happen. So this may happen on spring break. This credit fraud fraud happened. Somebody could got pregnant on spring break. Pregnant card came out. Pregnant. Feds are watching somebody's ass. There may be a breakup as well. Fake emails, fake accounts. So fake emails, fake accounts, and that could be why they're getting credit fraud. Because you you can actually get in trouble for um fake accounts, fake emails, for saying that you're somebody when you're not somebody. It's just somebody has to tell. Somebody has to go to the authorities about it. And somebody has. Or somebody's going to go to the authorities over this fake account, fake emails. Rainbow. You may be a rainbow child, which is um, born in the 2000s or on, onwards. Spiritually gifted and know it. Young, young age, they will know their capabilities. So at a young age, you will know your capabilities. Um, free from karma because they did not live a past life before to accumulate karma debt to pay or spend so you have a rainbow child is somebody that has not ever been reincarnated on earth it is their first time here in earth it doesn't mean that you um had a miscarriage or anything like that it means that it's first time that you have been reincarnated on earth so this is your whole new experience to you you have not accumulated no debt no karma and you were not able to spend anything so you have to learn to um you are now here to um earn that but you do know your capabilities. You are very strong. And most rainbow child children are going to be future leaders. They are going to be future leaders. They are going to, people are going to look up to them. Um, but because they have so many capabilities and stuff. They've been on many other star seeds. They've been on many other planets, many other dimensions, but they've never been here on earth. It is their first carnation on earth. And so this whole earth is new to them. Unlike me, I am not a rainbow child. I have been here many, many times. I have an old soul, so I've, when I came here, I did not, I knew I did not want to be here. I wanted to go back to my home planet. I wanted to be somewhere else. And so, or they're confused, rainbows are confused, and yes, they may not want to be here, but they actually also really enjoy it. And there, a lot of um, rainbows can be autistic and have ADHD, ADD, um, and stuff like that because they are not familiar with Earth. So they may feel like that. Um, spiritual avatar, av avatars to be the future. Oh yeah, see to be the future teachers of the world. They're going to be the future teachers of the world. Rainbow children aren't going to be the future teachers of the world. Dang. There's a storm coming. Storm coming. An overdose came out. Somebody's in recovery. 
Venusian, 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 I don't think I'm saying that right, but they came from Venus and our star seeds, aka Harther, for the to teach love. So you may be a, this is, um, you may be descendant, but, um, Venusian comes from Venus. So you come from Venus, you are a star seed, aka you are Harther, for the to teach love. So Harther is Egyptian mythology. Um, Egyptian bloodline Harther and she was the goddess of love. She was a teacher. So you may be guided to go um, look into Har Harther. Some of you may be going back to school and it's time to heal. <clears throat> Let's see here. We have divine masculine energy. They were born to destroy you. The karmic was born to destroy you. They came here to earth to destroy you and cause complications in your life. What else, spirit? What else? Thank you, spirit. Dang. So we have divine masculine energy and we have masculine karmic energy. Physical chose them, but emotionally chose you. So we do have that. That came out earlier. Somebody chose somebody else. You were an option, and now you um, walked away. I say what I want. Don't care what people think, say, or do. I am me, and you can deal with it or leave it. So somebody's finally in the energy of, like, they don't care what they what people think about them. They are themselves. They are their true selves. And whatever people say about them, they don't give a shit anymore. They are going to do them. Whatever makes them happy. Which is a very good thing. This isn't being conceited. This isn't being stuck up. This is just saying they don't care anymore. Because, like, somebody used to care of what people used to say, think about them. And now this person doesn't care anymore. They're just going to do them. They don't love you. They fucking... They faking it. Lies, lies, lies. So somebody doesn't love you. They faking it. There's lies, lies, lies. Let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. So, stay calm. Let things come and go because things are going to come in, uh, in and out of our lives but stay calm about it don't let anything disturb it you are at peace carry on somebody felt judged that you judged them don't judge don't judge yourself don't judge others just let things be if you don't like somebody like the way the things that they're doing you don't have to judge them you just kind of let it be pain is emotional trait let it go let it go leave past behind you I remember our first time together can't ever forget it somebody remembers the first time together with you they can't ever forget it What else, Spirit? What else? Don't be afraid who does not want you. So again, like you said, you don't care anymore, but somebody may feel like that you care. Don't. Don't be afraid who does not want you. Because somebody will come in that will truly want you want to be with you. Because somebody's fake busy. The karmic's fake busy. Wants to romance you right now. So the divine masculine or masculine feminine wants to romance somebody. You are the best in everything that done it. Yes, I am. So you are the best at whatever you've done. Yes, I am. Somebody sees you all the time. Somebody lacks self-love and that's why they hurt you. Ancestor message. Ancestor message. Answer must have, thank you. Trust yourself, you're right. It's okay to cry, emotional, let it out and release. Big, dream big. Let go, let God in. It's from the ancestors. Let go, let God in. Um, let's get a guidance. What guidance cards do I want to use? Guidance advice for my beautiful souls. Guidance advice for my beautiful souls. Okay, so somebody had a rebound relationship. There was a rebound relationship that wanted to come out really fast. Opportunities will knock to start fresh. So there's going to be opportunities that are going to be knocking on your door to start fresh. You are going to have opportunities that are going to come in. And then there's a no. Whatever you're thinking, whatever you're doing, and there's a no. I feel like that's a rebound relationship. Somebody wants a rebound relationship. And okay, that's what it is. 
they're just saying somebody wants a rebound relationship don't have a rebound relationship heal yourself heal what you need and what you want don't go in that rebound relationship because it's just gonna cause more comp complications it's gonna um make more make make you more confused and everything like that um just let opportunities they'll come to you just heal let the opportunities come to you healing um and then i an affirmation card Again, if you want me to do my names in the readings every time, let me know. I did get a message saying some people don't like the names, so I didn't do it in this reading. So please let me know if you do want names to come out in the readings. Today, I'm energetic. Today, I am filled with an incredible energy and enthusiasm to face this beautiful day. On the bottom is today, I am responsible. Today, I will make good choices that will bring me health and happiness. I love all you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Love, peace, light, and healing. Bye.